what's the hardest part about getting to a fight? Finding a babysitter. Mm. That'll yeah. take both your kids, not just one. Both. Those. Bakers times two. Yep. Kids are savages. They'll eat you out of house and home. <laughs> we should put one down. <laughs> yeah, you're getting kind of expensive. right next to the bacon wrapped hot dog guy. So here we are, another night at the Velasco. Should be a short, very quick night of fights. Reason being is a couple of fighters didn't make weight, a couple of fighters came in, weren't legit, didn't have their papers all straight. What happens with that? One fighter gets screwed, gets his fight canceled. The other fighter, he just comes in unprepared and doesn't get the payday he didn't expect to get anyway. Feel kind of bad for Paul Rubio right now because that happened to him exactly. Waiting on Marlon as far as a U.S. Olympian, bronze medalist, had a little beef on Instagram with Sinisa Superbad Estrada from East L.A. A lot of criticism on how Estrada looked on the way at the weigh-in. They should look a little soft around the midsection. I mean. I really don't care. It doesn't really matter to me so long as she performs in the ring. Although, uh, it was said that she did have a difficult time making weight. Maybe she's not training as hard as she should. Maybe she's a little bit more focused on that uh, uh, celebrity type lifestyle that she's got since uh, winning a bronze medal at the Olympics. Don't know. But we'll definitely find out tonight. Always a good time here at the Velasco. Let's go check it out and see how things look. Here now in my editing area, my work station here. This is where all the magic happens whenever I edit. This is where all the episodes of Under the Hand Wraps and all the good video content that we bring to you gets put together and worked out, chopped up, and quality controlled before I send it to you through the YouTubes. Uh, it was a good night at the fights, LA Fight Club. Marlon Esparza did what she had to do, stopped Leticia Campanera, 11 seconds, third round, and then Hector Tanahara Jr. pitched a shutout, 80 to 72, over Hector Ambriz of Ensenada, Mexico. It was a good fight for Tanahara. That was a good learning fight. He got good work over eight rounds. Ambriz wasn't going away. Ambriz landed his shots, but Tanahara was clearly the more skilled fighter controlled the fight nevertheless Ambriz good job on being a journeyman and getting good work to the prospects you probably earned yourself another fight at the Belasco for that it was a good night all together all in all see you ringside photos in the press release everything went good had a great time we'll see you guys next week